guys, Joe from 1UP Reviews, and today we've got a sneaker review and an unboxing of the Nike Air Force One Crate of Foam Flyknits. Before we get to our review, guys, if you're new to our channel, remember to hit that subscribe button, hit that notification bell so you never miss any of our latest reviews. Slap that thumbs up. We want to see those likes, it helps us with the algorithms. Drop some love in the comment section below. We try our best to reply to every single comment that's thrown our way. And I just want to take this time and opportunity to thank our subscribers, new and old. Without you guys, we aren't able to do this. Thank you. Let's get into it. So today, we've got a look at the Nike Air Force One Crater uh, Flyknit Trainers, and we got this in the, forgive me, this isn't gray. No, it's gray. That's what they called it. Now, since this is one of the Crater Foam sneakers that we have done, we have done these in the past. That's what I'm alluding to. Check those out. We've done the Crater Impact. Check that review out, uh, get into more detail, but I'll give you the little highlights when we show the Air Force One version. But like a lot of the creative form, this is Nike's move to zero. This is their mission statement to use zero carbon and zero waste to help support the future of sport, the preservation of materials and use less waste. It's all shown on this box, which I have, which we have shown in the past when we've done the creative impact, etc., etc. Move to zero, this is Nike's statement. And so there is at least 20% recycled materials used in the making of the sneaker. By weight, by the way. And here it is, that was very anticlimactic on my part, I'm sorry. But there's less waste that's used, there's no wrapping paper, it's just in this box. Very rarely anything here is apart from the writings here. But I'm just waffling on. As I mentioned, this is the Crater Foam. We've shown it speckled, space age, really good materials. That is what the outsole is made out of. Obviously, as it's an Air Force One, you've got that traction patterning here. You can find it all Air Force Ones with a star traction that is found here on the toes and there on the heel. Very lightweight, guys. Gonna have to take my words. If you've flying it sneaker before, like wait, you know what you're expecting. It's made out of that knit material. The midsole unit is again made out of the crater foam. There is an air unit that's in here, just encapsulated in this foam. And the crater foam it is a lot of recycled old products from Nike that make this foam. And you got this space age speckle, hence the crater, you got that space theme that's mentioned here. This does look futuristic. I mean, you can still see that it's the traditional Air Force One silhouette. We move along into the upper. Flying in materials, synthetic, it's nice, lightweight, makes the majority of the sneaker, you can see it, all around the whole body, right there. You got this, it feels like, a synthetic, that little bit of the Velcro, well, there's not Vel Velcro. Um, I can't, for the life of me, I don't know the name of the real materials, but it's a synthetic material here that makes a swoosh on both sides of the lateral and the medial. You can see it as well on the heel, where you've got the Nike Air logo there. Move along onto the tongue. So you got a nice foam tongue with a Nike Air Force One logo, flat laces. So this usual lace lock here, that's the little jewel, it's the little decoration that is usually found in the Air Force One where it says AF1. It just says Nike and it's made up of the same materials as the swoosh and the heel tab here. Unlike the traditional Air Force One where there's perforations on the toe box, as this is a Nike Flyknit, this is breathable as it is. You, you can still see like the little shapes, the outlays that would make the outlays over an Air Force One. It's all shaped here. More speckles to indicate that shape of the outline and you can see it kind of separates on 
the heel counter as well. Very nicely padded around the ankle support. And you look at the Nike pinwheel logo that's inside. Great to see that Nike of you are using their, uh, how can I say this? They've moved to zero. They've incorporated it into one of their timeless silhouettes. We've seen it all before though. I've seen the, the Jordan 1 flying it. it. I mean, I've seen people wear it. Didn't really hit off. Hopefully these hit off, but I'm not gonna lie to you guys. As great as a project, as great as a product, like this is for the environment, for the world, sustainability, all that. We love it, we do love it. <laughs> Unfortunately, it's not one on one Air Force One. And we have done a review. That was in Chris's time, so check that out. We might do another one, an updated Air Force One. I'm just being really egotistical because I want to do more videos with my face in it, really, so that's just me. I mean, this is great as a product, personally. I'm not the biggest fan. I'd rather have a pair of white white Air Force Ones. But it's great to see Nike doing their little bit. So I'll try these on and give you my thoughts, feelings, and emotions. So roll out footage of me trying these on. comes to the fit guys, I recommend that you get your true to size fit. This is a UK size 7.5. I don't believe I told the sizing, which is my fault. So this is a UK size, size 7.5, it's a European 42, and it's a US size men's size eight. So with all that said, I got my true to size fit. It's very lightweight, as you can see, I'm like lifting my legs a lot. Uh, it looks dope. But again, like I said, guys, I'd rather have the pair of white and white Air Force Ones. As uh, beneficial as this is to society, it's not beneficial to my outfit. <laughs> but in regards to comfort, it's very nice. Create a foam, it's very cushiony underneath. And again, the flyweight material, flyweight? The fly knit material is very lightweight, comfy. It's not pressing against my feet. It's not making it tight or snug. Just roomy, just a nice fit. So if you are able to get a pair, try and get your true to size fit. Thanks guys for watching. Remember to like, comment and subscribe. Follow us at One Up Reviews with the ZDN. That's on the Instagram account. Until next time, peace.